Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and here I am after a long delay. First of all, I did want to apologize that I have been gone for about two weeks now, and I'm really sorry about that. I couldn't keep you guys updated with the latest information, but that was out of my hands. You know, a person I know very well was very sick, and it's been really devastating recently learning about it, and, you know, I just couldn't find time to upload videos, but hey, I am back and I will be uploading more, including the 6.0.1 jailbreak, the downgrade, and many more necessities if you're unlocked on iOS 6.0.1. Now in this video, I did want to talk about a few updates and just the general status of the iOS 6 and 6.0.1 untethered jailbreak that's being worked on right now. Now basically what I'm about to tell you is not very recent, you know it's been out for a few days already so you guys may have heard about it, but I did want to include it anyways. And basically there is a fail break right now on iOS 6 that is a working jailbreak, however of course it's not ready to release. And in a few photos, a few tweets, I did want to show you guys some of the tweets that the developers were saying. And here's Joshua Hill, he did mention that the iPhone 5 jailbreak is in a grim situation, basically it's either not working or whatnot, and it's not ready to release however he said he is working on something else something more important and what that something else would be would be the boot rom exploit for the a5 a5x a6 and a6x which basically will allow a jailbreak to be that much easier to make once you do find a boot rom exploit and take note there hasn't been a boot rom exploit since 2010 on a4 devices and that's why you can get a tether jailbreak nowadays is because they all have a boot rom exploit on the iphone 4 the 3gs and the ipod touch 4th generation so finding one would be a critical piece in the ios 6 on tether jailbreak of course including 6.0.1 so let's talk about this fail break basically Planet Being does have a working iOS 6.0.1 jailbreak for the iPhone 5, and I don't know about the iPad Mini or iPad 4, but I do hope that those would be included as well. However, here's IntelliScreen X, a tweak from Cydia, running on the iPhone 5 on the latest version of iOS 6. And reports are that it does work very well, however, of course, it is a fail break, meaning it's not ready for public release. There's still a ton of bugs, a lot has to be figured out, but they are very close. And in a couple tweets, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what Planet Being did say about the current iOS 6 on Tether Jailbreak. Basically here he does mention that he can't say too much, but he does basically say that he does have the initial jailbreak down, there are some critical pieces that are missing, and he can't say too much. So here's a quick quote that I took from an interview with Planet Being, and basically he did say that they did get past the messiest part of the jailbreak, which is of course installing Cydia at first on the phone. Now it's all just finding pieces and fitting it into the jailbreak. Of course, no word on whether or not that will be finished before Christmas. Hopefully it will be. You know, that'd be an amazing present. But for now, the hardest part is over. That is on the iPhone 5. No information has been released on the iPad mini, iPad 4, iPod Touch 5th generation. But I do hope again that it all works out on all devices. And lastly, I did want to mention these fake jailbreaks that are popping up very commonly now. And one of them would be Absinthe version 3.00 or Red Poison. Basically, this is just a bunch of baloney, guys. Do not believe any of it. Many of these will either install a virus or malware on your computer or will ask you for money or both. So make sure not to install any of this garbage, guys. Make sure to get your information only from the dev team. They are the only people that actually release valid jailbreaks. So that's it guys, just a quick update on the status of iOS 6 and the Untethered Jailbreak. Thank you for your support guys, it really means a lot to me, especially in this time. It's been really hard, but it means a lot to me that there are so many fans out there waiting for me and waiting very patiently. So again, thank you, and guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. Have a great day. Peace.